Hello, Professor Brandy. Hello, class. This is my self-care report. Now, what exactly is self-care? Uh, to me, self-care is doing something in action that helps you become like a better version of yourself. Um, it helps you maybe like discover yourself, and it also helps you feel like that you're becoming better. It raises your self-esteem, makes you feel good about yourself. So self-care can really be anything, any hobby. It can be playing an instrument, um, hanging out with friends, uh, going swimming, doing exercising, uh, fixing something. It's just something that helps you have more of a self-esteem and more of a connection to yourself, if that makes sense. Now, why is self-care so important? To me, self-care is extremely important because how are you going to care about other people and love other people when you don't put time and effort into making yourself a better person, making yourself the best version that you can be? So, some people might say self-care is um, selfish, but I think self-care is really the thing that helps you give 100% to other people, helps you become better, helps you become a better friend, a better, um, a better, uh, I don't know, student, a better, a better mentor. It just helps you be, to become like a better person at heart. So self-care is really important because it will help you just to have more of a connection to yourself. It allows you to focus more on yourself and improve in ways that maybe you never thought you could improve in. Only by putting effort into working at your craft or your hobby or your um, trade, anything. Now, what do I do for self-care? I do a couple of things. To me, reading is extremely important. Um, reading, reading is what exercises to the body. It'll help you discover new words. It'll help you process more complex information. It will just make you overall more creative. So I think reading is extremely important. Whether I'm reading the news, I'm reading a book, a poem, anything. I, I read every single day. And it's just a very important part of my life because I feel like it will make if I feel like it really helps me to understand more complex um, sentence structures. And I I feel like when I read, I learn how to write better. I have a better vocabulary. I have a better uh, way of just crafting sentences, and I have a better way of explaining myself when I read. So, um, one of my favorite books is 1984 um, by George R. Orwell. Um, it's about a dystopian future, um, and it just has like all this crazy sci-fi and just messages about um, not conforming. It's just a really cool story. Um, another book that I just got is the um, book called The Collection and Tales of Edgar Allan Poe, a huge book full of just poems and stuff, stuff that I just love, um, really stuff that I just enjoy reading. And when I enjoy reading it, I just, I just feel like I'm just a more creative person. I feel like I learn new words. I learn like a, I learn like around a dozen new words for every single book I read. So it's really cool. Um, another thing I really like to do is exercise. Um, for reading, I like to exercise my brain. For um, exercising, I like to exercise my body. So that way I kind of have like a balance, right? <laughs> um, you know, it's just the simple things. I go around, I jog a um, couple days a week. Um, I do push-ups. I have some weights at my house that I curl sometimes and uh, do some other stuff with. Um, exercising is just really important. Um, helps me feel more comfortable with my body, um, helps the blood flow, it just, exercise is just a really beautiful thing. Um, you know, it just helps with my reflexes, um, cardio helps with my blood pressure, um, reflexes, like all that, all that cool stuff. So, to me, that's what self-care is, just taking care of yourself. With my reading, I feel like I'm just getting more creative, I'm getting better with words, I have a wider vocabulary, and I have a better way of explaining myself. Uh, with exercise, I just feel like I'm just becoming, I, I'm just like becoming more comfortable with my body, uh, getting into shape. Um, I just feel healthier. I'm not like out of breath or anything. So all in all, self-care can be anything, like I said, as long as it makes you feel better, as long as it makes you feel like you're, you're improving, becoming a better person. And as long as it just feels like it's like generally improving your life. When you feel like you're, you're when you feel like you're improving your life, people will notice the, um, the improvements. 
and the accomplishments that you've made. And that's what self-care is, just making yourself the best you you can be. That's it for my video. Thank you for watching.